I think one thing is like your patience. <sighs> because you have been really patient with me, um, just being like scared and guarded. Um, so that's like really one thing. <sighs> We're not even five minutes in and I'm crying. <laughs> um, you were cancer. <laughs> yeah, I think definitely like the patience. When do you feel closest to me? Probably like when I'm at your house. Like, cause it's just, I mean. Get out like, of my head. <laughs> it's just, you know, like there is no outside distraction. It's just the one-on-one -on -one bond time. Yeah. And then there's Daisy, of course. But um, <laughs> it's just that one-on-one -on -one bond time to, you know, to feed off each other energy. And, yeah. You know, so I was gonna say that too. I mean, going out is nice. Like, I'm glad we don't always be at the house. But sometimes I'm like, I just don't want to be around people. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. When was the last time you considered ending this relationship, and why didn't you? Uh, well, I haven't considered. I haven't considered ending it, but I did find myself finding reasons why it wouldn't work before like we decided that we were gonna be in a relationship. And it was just my own fears with like, oh, just after being single for so long and just all of that, I think I, w I was fine. And I think we might've talked about this a little bit, um, but I was definitely like trying to find reasons why it, it possibly wouldn't work. I just doubted it beforehand. Yeah. Like, yeah. I was wondering if we would get this question. What's the pain in me you wish I could heal? Oh, um, well, if we were talking about it on a physical level, then of course, like the issues that you have with your hip. Like, okay. Yeah. If we're talking on like a, like a, I guess, emotional, spiritual level, it would be like the issue with your dad. Especially like, sometimes I feel selfish. The fact that like I like had my dad uh, and like I actually like got like you know memorable moments with my dad and then like you know you didn't get to really experience that even though like my dad passed away I still got to like you know have like moments that I can look back on and when you tell me about your situation it kind of like dims like the light on me talking about what I got going on even though I know you I know you wouldn't look at it like that for sure like you like you care and you like embrace like the situation between like you know but that's kind of like hard to really like you know, you know, you get what I'm saying? Like, it's hard to kind of like talk about something that I had, yeah. even though I don't have it anymore, but I had it. And it's like, you know, well. Because I didn't necessarily have that. Yeah, and it's, and it's still here, you know? Yeah. Like. Sometimes I, sometimes I feel, I do feel, so kind of the same thing. Like I feel bad for like expressing how I feel about that whole situation because you lost your dad. So, like, so sometimes I do feel bad for, like, the things that I say. I mean, you can't take back and I hurt. Yeah. So you can't really, like, feel bad. Like, I, I think, like, that's why I said I think it's more so, like, as we continue to work and grow, we understand, like, how to, like, I guess mesh both parts together in a way to where, like, neither one of us feel, yeah. you know, like, um... I mean, even though I had my stepdad, like, it's still, for whatever reason, like, it'd be hard. Yeah, I mean. Like, I dread Father's Day. Yeah, that's, I mean, and that's the crazy part about it, because it's like, you dread Father's Day and I dread Father's Day, too, but we have two different reasons. Yeah, and so, you know, like, so that's what I would like, if I could, I would, but, I mean, continue to.
I think, yeah, I think it would be the same. Like, it would be the same for me. But also, like, recognizing that it's neither one of our jobs to heal that within the other person, necessarily. Like, of course, we got our own stuff. And it's, like, our responsibility to, like, deal with it. But, mm-hmm. but of course, like, it's not just, I'm not, I'm ne- I would never say, like, oh, that's not my problem, I'm not going to deal with it. Like, I know that there's still, like, hurt that you have. And I listen, just like you listen when I, and I, like, you know, try to work through my stuff, so. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> How do our different upbringings affect our relationships? That's a good question. That is a good question. I think for me, it's my desire to be so independent, just like. For the most part, being raised by a single mom and always been like, you know, I've seen her be like, oh, I like I got it. And her just like doing it all herself. Um, and, I, and I know I realize like I that's where I get it from. Um, and it's just like fine. I like I got it. And it's not necessarily to like. I don't I don't want this to come off the wrong way. Cause I remember you saying like, sometimes you feel like I don't need you. And it's not like in the sense of like, like the companionship, yeah. Like I do need that, but also like, like I got it myself, but I, I'm I'm working on it. So I think that's one thing, like my independent, see, is a factor. Like the other night when you was like, I was like, I'll just cash up you the money for dinner. Like I, I, I almost, Push back, but I was just like, okay. Yeah, I was shocked. I was yeah, I, I, I almost pushed back, and I was like, okay. It's not to ask you, is you feeling okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on it. Yeah. Like, um, I mean, I guess it's, I'll say it's the same thing. I don't, like, I don't get offended by it, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? I just, like, that's just my gesture, like, my nature. So yeah. if I could for you, then I'm just trying to go out my way to make sure, like, you know, because like I said before, like having like lost so many people, I don't really get close to people like that. So when I do get close to people, I want to make sure that they're one hundred percent comfortable, yeah. and that you know, um, that like I treat them well and take care of them. And it's almost like um, I don't want like a dependency. I don't want that person to have to depend on me, but I just want them to like once again that reassurance. They're like you know. Like, I got you. Like, yeah. it's cool. Don't worry about it. Like, no. So, that's pretty much what it is. Okay. Why am I in your life? Because huh. you allow me to be there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I told you that I, you know, I've enjoyed like getting to know you and the vibes that I got when I first met you. If I didn't want to see you again after that, then I wouldn't have. Right. Um, yeah, and I think you're a special person. Thank you. Hi guys, if you were watching that video and thinking, man, those questions would be great to ask to my partner on a date, we have the and dating edition just for you. You can check it out at theskindeep.com shop.